What's up guys, Kenske from KenskeArt.com, illustrator, writer, and author of Manga for Dummies and Figure Drawing for Dummies. I'm here today because I want to show you a cool shading uh, technique that I use for my line artwork using Clip Studio Paint's Colorize feature. Um, it's simple, easy, and most importantly, saves time. So here we go. Here we have a illustration I did for a client of a mattress company, famous mattress company, and uh, I wanted to go ahead and show you how I would add shading. There's always a little bit of shading applied to it, but let's say if, if, if you know, you wanted to give something more to, uh, add something more to uh, give people to look at. So all I do is here I have the, the flat JPEG. I go here and click, click, uh, click edit. Colorize. Colorize all. And it's going to do its magic right here. This feature won't work without internet connection. And there it goes. It colorizes that photo. I mean that that image. And you can see it's non-destructive on a separate layer right here. Okay. So right now, uh, it does not look um, all too great. <laughs> you know, it's purple and everything everywhere. This is the Clip Studios Paints um, way of analyzing the image. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to add uh, grayscale shading. And what I'm going, what, and how I do this is I go to Edit, Same Menu, Tonal Correction, uh, Hue Saturation, Luminosity, or Option uh, Option U. Drag down the saturation all the way down to zero. And there we go. See, everything's been shaded in gray grayscale. Um, <clears throat> this is this feature is especially useful when, say, there are uh, more details such as like um, this, and there are so many images. You know, I get usually twenty four um, images that I need to go through and shade. So this comes real handy in, in saving time. Here we go. We'll go again. Colorize all. And giving me really decent gradations, uh, eliminating all the guesswork. I don't have to guess, you know, why or where I'm going to start shading. Uh, hue, saturation, luminosity. Bring that little baby down. And there you go. Looks pretty good. And I did that in, what, less than 10 seconds, I guess? Versus having to go through my airbrush tool, the one tool, select with a selection tool, figure out, eh, maybe eliminating the uh, the time it takes to make decisions, what kind of um, value I want to add to it. And, or this one, let's say. You know, I don't want to go through and uh, select all those trees and all that kind of stuff. I'd rather just go ahead and click edit. Colorize technology preview, colorize all. Now it's not perfect, as you probably will see with this one. Well, we'll see what it does here. It's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. There we go. See, you know, <laughs> her face is all dark and everything like that. So it's not perfect, but it does save time. And here I go ahead. Uh, change, oh, sorry, tonal correction. Hue saturation, luminosity. Drag this down. Okay. And I'm going to drag the hue just a little bit down too. I mean, sorry, the luminosity. There we go. Okay. Now, since this is on a separate layer, I can go ahead and mask out the. portions of the air which I don't want so prominently shaded with my airbrush tool. Yeah, there you go. It's not perfect, but it's easily adjusted to deliver quality results. And or let's say uh, this one, you know, lots of flowers, Mountains, sky. Um, I'll do the same thing with this. 
edit colorize technology preview colorize wall do some thinking it takes some time again the colors are a little bit off here not perfect but it doesn't really matter because it's going to be uh, changed into a uh, grayscale anyway hue saturation bring that level down there you go and since it's on a separate layer I can click I can adjust if I want to make this a little bit darker right here I can take the airbrush tool and bring it you know balance it out here by adding some grays you know you do have to make adjustments but it saves time because using this technique saves time because you didn't have to go and select all those things using the paint bucket or the wand tool. Um, it takes the guessing out of you. It makes it the best guess possible based on uh, whatever technology that they're using behind this, this, the, the scenes here. <coughs> Excuse me. So there you have it. Um, this is a quick tip on how to uh, shade a lot of images, a lot of align artwork. And especially, it's, gr it's great, especially if you're under a tight deadline. Um, you know, it's not uncommon that I have about like 24 frames I have to do within um, in a small window period. So this, this, this method really, really helps a lot. Okay, so I hope you found this tip helpful. If you like this tip, uh, please hit this like and subscribe button. Uh, you can also check out my website at kenskeart.com, Instagram handle also kenskeart.com. Can there you can check out my new Kickstarter book, graphic novel, The Foreigner, book one. All right, thanks so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you soon. Till then, keep drawing.